Hello, my name is Grant, and I'm going to begin the expo, starting with a quest that uh, by Eddie de Oliveira. And the quest is card. I forget. <laughs> Give me a second to load up in uh, <laughs> one second. I'm going to load up his expo. Uh, Page we got here, so one sec while I get things going on here. I'm not sure if you could see the sec. No, I don't think you could see the activity. Huh, and I'm. Seems. Okay, I was about to say it seemed to have froze there. It probably did. My uh, video, so my streaming video, hopefully that don't continue <laughs> because that's not good. So I think, uh, and that wasn't Twitch that time, that was actually my recorder, so I'm thinking that. Those who's watching on YouTube will probably notice the freeze as well. So let's hope that don't happen. So yeah, the game is called uh, Heroes Legend 2. Secrets of the Legend. So let's see how much he's got written here. It's, no, okay, it's not too much uh, for me to read. So let me read. Uh, Eddie de Oliveira presents Heroes of Legends 2. Secret of the Legend. Secrets of the Legend. Introduction. This is my first time entering a pure ZC Expo, so I do not. So I do hope things will work out really great. Welcome to Heroes Legend Two, a quest I started working on back in June or July as a side project for one for one of my other ZC projects, which will be kept hidden. This quest is a sequel to my odd time best quest. Heroes Legend, well, I'm going to assume so, <laughs> which can be found on the Pure ZC database. I plan for this quest to be a lot better, having an interesting story, a huge overworld, and a wide range of dungeons, each with their own unique theme. I was. I also want to thank Moosh for the amazing instrumentality tosset. I love this tosset to bits. That is basically it for the introduction, so uh, let's get rolling. Features. This quest is planned to have the following features. Nine dungeons, an overworld, maybe two if I want to. A unique story, let's hope. Let's hope it is. <laughs> a wide range of soundtrack. And, and, and if you wonder why I said let's hope it is, that's what he has written there. I'm actually not poking fun at the guy. He has put this there himself. So anyways, a wide range of soundtrack, a plot twist plan to come much later in the game, not available to demo. Well, why would you want to put plot twists in a demo, right? Uh, each dungeon has their own unique theme, a number of mini dungeons in which their maps look very familiar. However, as quest goes on, they'll become much more complex. That's it so far, and yes, this quest uses no scripts whatsoever. Now that's interesting. Mainly because I cannot script it off. And I have a lot of difficulty implement, implement, blah, blah, implementing scripts in. And apparently I have a lot of trouble saying implementing. Maybe in the future I might take up scripting and include a few here and there. But we'll see. Rough story outline. No, this is the, this story outline is ripped directly from my quest project page. The story is a bit more in-depth as the quest goes on, but I don't want to spoil anything big, and I don't blame you. This quest takes place many centuries after the first quest and will feature a young boy called Link, who was named after the hero of the first quest. Link will be going on an adventure to uncover dark secrets that the hero's legend told, which has been kept hidden away from people for centuries. Before Link begins his quest to uncover these secrets, troublesome news comes from Hyrule Castle. A familiar face has returned to take over Hyrule yet again. And there's a demo and there's a questionnaire, but I ain't gonna bother to read that right now. Okay, we have a we have some activity in the chat here. And hmm. And I'm looking good. <laughs> okay, let's skip that there. No. Okay. What do I name myself? 
Harold P. My name is Harold P. I don't know why I named myself Harold P, but I'm now going to be Harold P. Oh, yeah, no. Ah, oh, here we go. I'm going to change my controls to controls that I'm more familiar with. So hold on there now, because I've been playing Super Nintendo a little bit more lately. Uh, Super NES. So, EXT1, EXT2, EXT3. This is, this is not even being changed at all. So, yeah. Uh, L, R. That hasn't been changed at all. <laughs> and, uh, I going to assume this is B and A. I might have to switch that. And, and that should be it. A long, long time ago, there was a vast land called Harul. This land was filled with peace, guarded by the tribe wars. However, the Dark King, it's always a Dark King, the Dark King Ganon managed to claim the tribe wars for himself. And transform the land into a realm of hatred and destruction. Zelda, Princess of Hyrule, was also captured and taken away to Ganon's castle in which her Triforce of Wisdom will be taken. This is Zelda one story. <laughs> a young boy by the name of Link managed to defeat Ganon and bring Peace back to Hyrule. I like the colored words, like, it's so easy to do, but yet, it's, it, it really does make the, uh, it look much better. I don't even know why I don't do it. But, anyways, peace back to Hyrule. Make a wish on the Triforce to send Ganon back into a seal where he will remain there for centuries. This was the tale of the hero's legend, which has been passed on for years. In the present time, a boy called Link, named after the hero, is about to uncover the dark secrets about this legend in an adventure he would never have expected. This is... Hero's Legend 2, Secrets of the Legend. <laughs> Boy, it's getting pretty dark out here. I better get home. Soon, soon it will happen. I will rise once again. Huh? Who's that? First, I will need to take the princess for myself, and Hyrule will be mine yet again. Right away I'm getting that feeling of, uh... The Lost Land. <laughs> Promised Lands, that's right. Princess Haru, yet again, what is he talking about? Well, I shouldn't be standing here for too long. Whoever it is could find me here. There you are, Link, my boy. What troubles you? Well, you see, when I was coming home, I heard someone talking. He said something about Haru, Princess, and yet again. That sounds very interesting. You recall the voice? Man, I've been fooled by old men before. Like, this is Don Moore all over again. I don't want to tell you nothing. Yes, it sounded quite sinister and deep. Oh, that doesn't sound good. If that's the case, then I think it is time. Time? Time for what? Do you know the Herald's Legend? Yeah, it's that tale where a boy named Link goes on a quest to save Hyrule and, Z and Zelda from the evil King Ganon. <laughs> Correct. Now, Link, my boy, there are hidden secrets about this legend. I don't know them myself, but they exist. There is one person in this land who knows about these secrets. And that person is Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. 
Now, I want you to go and find these secrets about the legend. But why me? What do I have to do with anything? You will see in time. Now head to Hyrule Castle. I will be revealed. Like... Ugh! No one's telling me nothing! What's this? An invisible boundary? Why? Couldn't you just put something there, like anything, like a flickered line or something? I guess that's not part of the demo down there. Zelda in the middle of nowhere? Ah, someone help me. Oh, okay. That's what I'd say. Ah! Get back here! I will get you without a sword! Hey, unhand her now. Why, what do we have here? A young boy commanding me? Ha, ah, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. That boy, could it be? I said unhand her! Eh, <laughs> enough of your attitude. I'll be taking the Triforce of Wisdom from Zelda, and then... All I need to worry about is finding the Triforce of Courage. Scatter all throughout the land. Only then I can rule. I rule once again. Now, boy, be gone! I didn't go nowhere! You went be gone! Why tell me to be gone when you leave? Oh man, this is good. I should probably go and tell Grandpa. Yes, you do that now. And the sky is clearing up, so I can probably drop myself off too. Oh, hi. Oh, I can go down here now. So, the NPCs, uh, don't talk unless I'm pressing the wrong button. Uh, I'm about to do some little bit of the exploration. Hello, how may I help you today? You can give me everything you own. Oh wait, I got no sword. What the hell is with this? This town is full of homeless people! Where are your homes? Why are you out here? Like, I gotta get away, you're out creeping me out, there's too many people here and there's not enough homes. Oh, there's me sword. Grandpa, there's some big trouble. Trouble? What do you mean? Some evil pig thing took the princess of Hyrule. He also said something about the Triforce of Courage. Alright, Link. I see the issue. From what you saw earlier, it seems Ganon... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Just, just, just a bunch of people crowded outside this old man's house. It seems Ganon has returned. What? But the Herald's legend says he is sealed for centuries. Yes, however, he came back a lot quicker than I thought. Right. Link, you must go save Zelda from the evil clutches of Ganon. <laughs> Me? I don't think I can. Believe in yourself, boy. To rescue Zelda, you'll need to collect all the eight pieces of the Triforce of Courage. Why don't these people tell me why? Why? Like, come on, like, I'm, I'm just a child. Why do I need to do this? Come on, like. Zelda games are all the same. You gotta go out and do this. Okay, yeah, I'll go right ahead. So, what about the secrets of the hero's legend? The places where the places where the places are held. Okay, that's a bit of a you, you see in where this oh all oh, pieces pieces. That's right. The places where the pieces are held have the secrets. Now then, Link, take the sword and head west to Woodfall. 
The first piece is in there. You got the hero's sword. Swing it with A. Did you just disappear? Hello, homeless people. This is where they live. Like this is her home. That spot where she is sitting right, standing right there. <laughs> Hello, homeless people! What, so when the quest goes on, uh, these people won't be homeless? Oh, Link, you're going on an adventure? Well, take this heart to help you. Old Lady Crush. Oh, <laughs> how generous, Evan! Thank you for the heart that I didn't need! Do I get another heart when I go back in? Oh, Evan, that's that's pretty courteous of you. That one heart. Oh, I love that. That's that's, that's one, one great one heart. <laughs> you know, I was just man. Now I have a sword. I could adventure this land. This is Pokemon, isn't it? Bit too loud. I'll say that right now. I can barely hear the sound effects. You might want to turn uh, the music down a little bit. Yeah, I'm not whistling this. I did. Yeah. Kill a woman. Oh, just kidding. This is a bit of an uh Zelda themes, typical of a Zelda game. Ah! I probably should. I have a lot of money too, don't I? I should go buy a lot of things. Oof. I'm just too far... I'm just too far away to buy anything! Does your overworld, like, have shortcuts that I can unlock and go back? This is... This is annoying! Now I'll go back. That's a game I want to try soon too, Castlevania 3. That might be, uh... When I'm not playing Expo demos, that... that yeah, that's definitely the game I'm gonna play next, is Castlevania 3. Oh yes, the... Those invisible barriers. Holy shit, she gets a lot of money in this quest. Everything... You have... I think you have too many drops in this quest, man. Everything is nearly a drop. You need to try to... make less drops, uh, or else you just, the quest is probably going to be slightly too easy. That's one criticism I got there. There's a lot of drops. Everything is gar almost guaranteed to drop something. Like, look how much money I got. I got 200 already. That's... Um, unless you're planning on having really expensive... So, can I kill things? No. Unless you're planning on having very expensive things in this quest, you have a... You've got a, almost too many drops, I think. Like, I already maxed out my rubies already. Well... Better get shield. We'll put something there that I can visually see and say, oh, okay. I think, uh... 
I think uh, in the Ryan Spongebob Bopper, he did a good job of that. And that's what I end up doing for Triforce after, too. I did the exact same thing because good ideas should be repeated. But not over yet, not overdone. Yeah. He had said you could kill him flying! Yes! I love it! Well, I'll never die in this game because everything drops everything. Oh, hi. How do you tell? That was a bit creepy. Welcome to Hyrule Town. The castle is at the center of this town. It's either Pokemon or Zelda. Too many homeless people here, Law. Here, Law. Here. It'll make you feel better. Here, Law. Here. Homeless people everywhere. I'm just doing my good deed for today. Well, this place ain't so homeless looking as the other place. There, there's actually houses around here. I, I just feel good about giving everyone food. Like, I seem to have an unlimited supply of beef or pot roast. Oh, yeah. You, you shall not pass! You should have called this the quest of the homeless. Ah, see, that's a bad spawn point. You could easily put a flag there and make sure that they, they never spawn there. If you put a no enemy flag there, you won't have an enemy spawning there. So I'm gonna leave that in me there just to talk to you. Ah! Oh, this music is so loud, Eddie. That's one criticism I have right now. Uh, that's two. The, uh, the, this music is too loud. And, uh... Drop, the drop sets is just dropping too much stuff. Not a bad overworld design, though. The abundance of rubies is all oh, man, There's a lot of them. <laughs> hey, what? what else? Stop throwing things at me. It's abuse, you know? Like, I call it abuse. It's, and abuse is just not a good thing. Yeah, but you shouldn't... Aha, uh -huh, you shouldn't expect people to do that, though. These are things, uh, these are things that, uh, every quest designer should consider. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to do that because oh my god, you shouldn't expect uh, people to do that though. Okay, master midi volume. Let's throw it there. <laughs> That's much better. But still, like, you shouldn't have the expect players to turn down their master volume for your quest as a quest designer. Perhaps you should turn, uh, you, you do have the option to. Ugh! What is this? Forces of fucking God or what? <laughs> I know, I think I gotta go back to the castle. Because there's a castle off that way. Huh? Even God is trying to stop me in this game. Three known places not a rule. Hero's Village, Hero's Town, and Cove Village. However, Cove Village is said to be lost for years. Well, chances are it probably no longer exists. Well, that's not true. Like, for example, like where I'm from, there's there's, there's villages that no longer exist because they're, they've been lost for years. The earth has taken them over. They are, they're gone. They're no more. So there's no point to even calm a town anymore. It's it's a nothing. Only those with the Triforce of Courage could come in. <laughs> yes, boy. Can you? <laughs> what's he do? What's he got? Like a search party out for the Triforce of Courage and not letting anyone in? It's like, ha! Ah, I live alone. Bring Triforce of Courage, or you cannot have a cup of tea with me. <laughs> I do not want no company. You must hold the Triforce of Courage or you are just not invited to my party. Uh, there's something there. So therefore I must go there. This piss. Piss, 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 piss. You forgot. Piss, piss. I don't know what I'm tisking for. So, I'm guessing I can't go up? No, no, of course. Nature, nature prevents it. <laughs> I had a feeling, just this gut feeling that something important will be here, and I was wrong. Okay, I can't go in there without hitting the switch. And this is the this is the town of homeless people. And uh, I guess this is the way to go. Anyway, that's shocking, Eddie. By God, if you're the quest creator, that essentially makes you God of this world. Give these people homes, for the love of God. Like, like, can you not feel bad for this crowd? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh my God, give them homes. <laughs>
Well, my take on that area, uh, odd jokes aside though, I'll be serious. My take here is that there's either not enough homes, or too many non-playable characters. Way too many non-playable characters for these uh, for the screen. Especially if you look, uh, consider that this entire area only has, what, three doors? And one, I guess, belongs to Link's grandfather. It's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's a pile of, it's a big pile of I NPCs that has nowhere to go. <laughs> Well, don't wake him up now, I got the clock. Is that the box? Okay. Okay, so what's so special about this one screen? On our screen, that thinks it's special. Uh oh. Oh! That must be a quest rule. I thought it was, I thought it was scripted where you... Ah, never mind, I don't know what I'm talking about. Aha, I got you that time. Okay, I guess there's only one place I can go then, because Eddie has so much forbidden territory that I'm not allowed to go to. He bends nature to his will to prevent me from going to these places. I ran away from a uh, from an Octorok. Yes. A plus for running away from Octorok. Eddie, a little tip right now. A little tip right now. Always create short when you're when you put like little journeys or stuff like that. Always for, create shortcuts back. It's not too hard to have a switch here to hit there and create a bridge that can go from here and connect to the right side over there. It, it would be very, very nice to have. Don't you agree? I, I think so. I think a switch should be there, exactly right there, creating a bridge that goes right there. Oh, please do that. It's, it's, a, it's a nice thing to do. Level 1. Woodfall Palace. Not all the screens are spoilers. I refuse to believe that.
Oh. Here, have some meat. Leave me. Oh. The place that yeah, that's that one spot does look look perfect to put a bridge there. Uh, like a bridge that you trigger, right? It's always nice to create shortcuts back. When it comes to overworld design and uh, dungeon design. More specifically, dungeon design. When you're designing dungeons, I found Evan... Uh, that's one thing I gotta give uh, big compliments to Evan for. He, uh, he was always considered about uh, creating l uh, little small shortcuts back. Things that uh, the player earns, right? Like, think about it. That's another thing... But that's another thing that you can give players to earn. They felt like they earned a shortcut back. And and those are all good feeling things. So if you're saying it's like, man, I don't I ran out of items to give uh, give people, you don't always have to give people items. Little shortcuts to say thank you for playing my game is always nice little shortcuts. <laughs> Random, but nice. Okay. I hope this bomb isn't required because what happens if I run out of bombs? I hope you're not running on the assumption that I won't run out of bombs. And the, even if you get a crack water, you almost gotta play. Yeah, you, you almost gotta design these things that one per uh, that one person in this world can be a complete dumbass and use up all the bombs, and that complete dumbass could be very well be me. <laughs> because I like using bombs on enemies. So, if the bomb is required... Oh, this and Portugal are the two currently quits in project. Oh, that's I gotta kill the Zora too. I guess not. But I'm trapped in here. Oh! <gasps> you got the map. Holy Knuckles, are you okay? Ah! Uh, and I just got hit by a drop. Okay, that's a key door over there. So I haven't been... So... I haven't been over this way. I guess I'll go there right now. Looks like I'm gonna get something that hits those switches as well. I think. I'm used to hitting these things with a sword, right? I guess a boomerang?
I like how you put the attention to detail, the detail into, like, into the rooms, like, yeah, like, the shape of the rooms and all that. It's not like square rooms, it's like, there's, there is a lot of, ugh! <laughs> yeah, I know what music this is. Uh, it's just, it's almost like a remix kind of thing, deal. I think. No, I'm be wrong. No, no, I'm, you gotta think something else. I thought it was the the theme for Earth Palace and Wind Waker at first. Ooh. No! Better not give it any too many compliments though, it'll go right to his head. That's fun, Avatar, baby, because you you knows how to, you knows how to pull it off, though. He does he does a really good job with it, and it will create something unique and fresh, fresh like salmon. Ah! Yeah. Oh, I got bombs! No, salmon! I get a feeling the bombs is not hurting it. Save my last bomb. There you go. You got the wooden boomerang. Use it to hit objects and grab things. Okay, so you know how to do room state carryovers, that's nice. What am I gonna do with all this 200 rubies? I got this too many, I got too many rubies. 
gonna have a panic attack. I want to spin all these rupees on something. Can I buy bombs? You got smart key. Use it on locked doors and lock blocks. Please don't tell me that's required because, again, people like me could run out of bombs. Yes, you can. You have too much rubies when you can no longer pick up rubies. You have a full wallet and you're leaving rupees behind. That means you have too much rupees. It's, it's not... It, but then, uh, like I'm saying, Andy, I'm hoping... Like, what happens, what happens now if I use this last bomb? You should, uh, if a bomb is required, you need to make it replenishable. Because, again, people could use their bombs. I've only decided to spare my last bomb just in case something like that would be. So, you might, like, you get... So, this is the room where I got the bomb. Especially when it's not, uh, it's not too obvious. It is kind of... It does... Well, it is kind of, like... That's a dead giveaway. But still... And also where you dropped the bomb here, I had a feeling. But still... Bombs need to be replenishable. Well, that don't matter because that's not a requirement. That's a treasure, so... Okay. I'll take back my complaint for now. You don't need bombs to get that. I got a feeling that I'm gonna... Okay, yeah. Okay, well then... Then you got no complaints from me. have the big key. One fear I got for this quest right now, it is it's pretty well done, I like it, but the one fear I got is that you're you overlook just the little thing about like giving people little shortcuts back like back 
and I feel that's going to come against you for your later, more complicated dungeons. Magnals? <laughs> oh, Magnals. <laughs> who? Who are you? My name is Link. I'm currently going on an adventure to save Hyrule from Ganon. <laughs> Link don't mind telling out uh, his whole story. <laughs> At the same time, I'm finding the secrets of the hero's legend. Apparently the secrets are found in temples. Like, Link just, he doesn't mind spitting it out. I was like, I am Link and this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Saving Hyrule from Ganon? No idea what you're, you're on about. But me and my team here are trying to find the secrets too. However, you are disrupting us, so I'm going to let my three grunts play with you for a bit while I discover the secret behind this door. Enjoy. Out of HP. I gotta do something. About no. I shouldn't use all my bombs on it. Aquamedas. I did. I think. You got a heart container. Life has been increased with one heart. Well, where did the other guy go? So he came in here to look at secret, and then he just nah. He just came in there and was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go." Oh, one piece down. That wasn't too bad. I have no idea who who that team was though, but whatever. Time to see what the secret is about. <laughs> I just said a different word. The the story of the hero's legend held many secrets. While Ganon was beaten by Link, he also held the Triforce of Courage, a key symbol into defeating Ganon. Next time Ganon is set to awaken, the Chosen One will be collecting the eight shards of the Triforce of Courage to defeat Ganon again. So, since I'm collecting the Triforce of Courage, that means I'm the Chosen One? Well, that's somewhat shocking. In that case, I'm off to the second piece. But where do I go now? I guess I'll explore around the field.
Oh, I see. Now, see, I wish I had that bridge there now. It's like, Keep, and walk across. Oh. What? I have, I have a serious lot of dye on my clo uh, dye on my clothes. I go in the water and I turn the water orange. And my clothes is not even orange. My hair is. I have too much dye in my hair. Hello, Zelda player. You just arrived. Just while we're about to just leave. No, not really. Is there another level in this demo, or is this pretty much close to done? like a better version of that song Link plays in Majora's Mask. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of, that song Link plays in Majora's Mask when he wears the that bird mask. So, I got to... go here. Okay, I gotta go around, uh, the village of the homeless. Okay, sounds good. There was a key in there too, and uh, Sir McBobbins took it. Clearly, it took a few keys. Well, the thing about complaints, there's a lot of people who are really uncomfortable making complaints. But the thing about, uh, I've learned about co complaints, they encourage positive changes. Uh, blah, blah, yeah, they encourage positive changes. That looks odd there, if you ask me. Uh, I think the rock's head should be over the tile. But yeah, they encourage positive changes, and, uh, and as such, complaints is a good thing. But... But there's also a, a form of complaining that, uh, well, you know when people are just being too unfair with their complaints? And to me, that's almost kind of a form of a harassment. In a way, you get what I mean. So, so what should I do first? Level A or level 2? I guess level A it is. Back. Oh yeah, that's not. Nice. 